Right, hi there. Uh, quick little update. Uh, I've started building my 8x4 plasma. Uh, I should have recorded a little bit before, but we got kind of caught up in other stuff. Um, so, as you can see, we've got the rails, SBR, and the rack all on. Um, it's all spaced pretty good from the edges. Um, it's all dead parallel. We can check that because we just we can move the carriage and we can check that that's all parallel. Um, I've got the bearings um, mounted like that. It's it seems the way I always do it. The only thing that's just a little bit dubious about that is quite possibly the flex that's in the uh, box section. But I haven't experienced any problems, and if I do get a problem, I will just um, make some caps to go on the end, stiffen it all up. As you can see, I've got the X rail, SBR, and the uh, rack all in. Uh, I have braced the table like crazy. I mean, this is this is like the fourth road bridge. I mean, this is seriously, seriously stiff. Um, I found with the little one there, um, there's a lot of judder and a lot of weird stuff going on, and it seems to be coming through the table legs and frame rather than anything else uh, but I have noticed that there is a little bit of play in this I need to get over the supplier of that and kind of work that out because that's just not acceptable um, I hate things that aren't right uh, anyway here we've got the um, got the z-axis mounted uh, this is all ready to be mounted uh, slotted the holes uh, using the little plasma actually made them use the machine to build the machine uh, and that allows me to make sure that I can get the torch I mean bolt upright uh, and also I've got slotted holes in the back of here where the mounts for the z-axis is um, right in behind there so that we can upright it that way as well um, I've gone a step up with the thickness of the material trying to get rid of any wobble or any shake uh, I've got two bearings down there as you can see I got two on the top rail as well, um, and it's just nice and rigid. I mean, it is, it is rigid. It runs absolutely beautifully. Uh, there's just over a thou difference between this rail and that rail on that gap, all the way along here. From so from that end to the other end, we have got just about a thou, a little over a thou, and that's thousands of an inch by the way. So it's pretty pretty accurate. Uh, the other thing I've beefed up, I've beefed up my motor mount brackets. Uh, we're going full blown 6mm now, uh, and it works well. I use the CNC, there's one bolt missing there obviously. I use the CNC to get my PCDs right for all of that, which made life a hell of a lot easier. I mean, this machine so far, um, has only taken me three days to get this far and that is from a box of bits and lengths of material uh, so I don't think that's so bad uh, the other thing I've beefed up considerably is my motor mounts for the side uh, again this is in an effort to get rid of any wobble uh, any sort of shake uh, and it's nice it's nice it works well uh, I've done crazy little things like I've just made sure that all these angles here are the same so it just looks right a uh, little overlap there because um, I'm still not sure whether I'm going to go for a fixed motor position or I'm going to have a sprung loaded uh, uh, device really or you know spring load the pinion onto the rack uh, it's going to knock the shit out of the bearings in the motor maybe maybe not uh, but on the little one that's what I've done so you can see that's a little bit more shall we say agricultural compared to uh, one that I'm building for myself uh, you can see there so that's what I mean by the spring loading um, if if it pans out uh, I will probably I'll see what the customer says uh, if you know if this needs to be upgraded so that it looks better um, it is only looks this machine is rock solid uh, it's a nice little build this and it's been working as you can see 
it's so consistent and just accurate, insanely accurate for plasma. Uh, if I wanted to cut out a nine mil slot, like I have in the tops of uh, this, for instance, you know, if I want a nine mil slot, as you can see, I get a nine mil slot. I don't get a 9.5 mil slot. I don't get an 8.5 mil slot. I get a nine mil slot. So that is pretty, in my opinion, that is pretty awesome for plasma. And like I said, I use the machine to build the machine. Um, here's the other motor mount, um, as you can see. Again, those are the slotted holes, eight mil slotted holes. Now you can't tell me that that is bad for plasma. That is on the money. And that has come off of that little machine. It's just brilliant. I, I, I love that. I love building this little machine and I just love the way that it works. It's just amazing. I've surprised myself, which is not difficult. But like I say, I beef mine up a little bit more because I'm hoping to eke a little bit more speed out of mine. Um, a lot of the reason why I'm beefing up all the components, uh, you know, all these motor mounts, nice and strong, gone from six, uh, gone from five mil to six mil. Might not seem a lot, but it makes all the difference when it comes to um, the, you know, the rigidity of the machine. And little things, like I say, like those adjustments, the adjustment we got there, the adjustment that we've got in there, although that is actually at the extent of the adjustment. Next one might need some modification. Uh, but I thought I could just give you an update. Uh, I'm going to be working on this for the next couple of days. Uh, I've got to give, I'm going to have Sunday off. Don't really want to work Sunday. I would like to, um, but happy wife, happy life and all that. So anyway, there you go. That's an update. I uh, hope you like it. Uh, if you like all the content that I do post, uh, then please like and subscribe. Uh, I like the thumbs up. If you give us a thumbs down, please let us know why don't just go and watch it um, and give it a thumbs down. I would like to know because if I can improve anything, I will improve it. Uh, there's no two ways about it. And I will also respond to any, any comments. Uh, I do like getting comments. It's quite interesting. It's brilliant if I can help people. Uh, that's the main reason for doing these videos is, is just to help. This isn't to show off what I can and can't do. This isn't about what system's best or what system's worse or anything like that. It's all about just um, spreading the, you know, spreading the information, spreading the love, if you, if you will. I just like doing it and I like helping people. So like I say, if you've got a comment, if you've got any questions, then give us a shout. Uh, anyway, that's pretty much it for now. Like I say, if you like it, um, click the like button um, or subscribe, hit the bell uh, and, you know, receive all notifications and all that jazz. You know, you know the score. Anyway, take care now. Thanks a lot. Cheers.